<laughs> go see Cocaine Bear this weekend. I'm going to yes. go see Cocaine I'm Bear. I'm going. Friday. I cannot mm. wait. I'm so looking forward to that. Miami. I honestly do Thursday think... Night. I honestly think that's going to smash Ant-Man. Like... I Yeah. I don't think Hollywood's prepared for how good the film is going to do because projections early on domestic were like what between five and twelve million, Paulie? It was like it's really low. That. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. 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 Well, all all I know is every time they show that trailer in the theaters, and I go to the theaters a lot, right? Ever it loved. is the biggest reaction. Yeah. Bigger yeah. and, and its families of like all kinds of people yeah. from different backgrounds, they are cracking up at that movie. They're yeah. all gonna go to that film. I'm going well, I also, it's R, I don't care, whatever. I, I also really like what they've done with the trailers to that. Have you seen it now? Because they've they've they're obviously really on it with respect to the social media reaction because they're like, you haven't even seen it, and it's your favorite movie. <laughs> oh, of really? The year. It's <laughs> a cult crazy. classic. And it's like, God, ah, God. you're smart, <laughs> like you're on it. Because they're yep. just they're just they're quoting. Twitter users just going like, this is fucking amazing. I have to see this film. This looks great. A bear does coke. All this kind of stuff. You're like, yeah, no, you're like you're right. Ah, oh, it looks so good. I think I think it's going to smash the box office. It could displace domestically here in the states. It could it could displace Ant Man. I Tom and I have talked about. It. I think Paul would probably weighed in on. It. You probably have as well, Mister H. Yeah, but I mean, I, I yeah, like I I've covered this. All, I mean, I I've covered Cocaine Bear from the the very first trailer because I was like, this looks no from the mm -hmm. very first. Uh, post that dropped and then the trailer dropped the following day. I was like, this looks insane. So smart. Yeah. So smart. I mean, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's interesting. The box office is interesting because um, everything's roaring back. So as long as, as long as we still have a country, it's roaring back. Um, no, I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong stream, wrong stream. Um, but I got a pillow. what do you, you, you guys think that uh, there's going to be a, a major drop off for Ant-Man? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, there, there, there'll be a 60% drop off anyway. That's the average for a Marvel film. About 60%. Um, and I don't, I think, I think that, yeah, I think this will do 60% easily as a drop off. That's the average Marvel drop off second week, 60%. Tom, what do you think? Uh, I mean, it's going to be tough for a movie like Cocaine Bear to, to muster up the amount of money it's going to need to, to knock this off the top spot. But, what? but. These are strange times. Think about Joker, um, remember? Oh, no, I know. And and I've had a lot of people, you know, who disagree with me when I say it could happen. But I have a feeling that when we come Sunday, we're going to have, you know, they're going to act like Ant-Man took the top spot. But there's going to be a discrepancy somewhere between about $5 million. And by Monday morning, watch, just watch Cocaine Bear eke out a, a victory at like 40 45 million compared to to Ant-Man's 40 million or 43 million. You know what I mean? It's going to be neck and neck. I um, think that, right? I mean there'll be a massive drop off for Ant-Man anyway. I do think so. Easy. That's the that's the that's the average for a Marvel flick. And and I just think as well like there's what was the last adult film that came out just solely for adults? It was Megan, wasn't it? Really, it wasn't sort really an of, adult but see, film. Violent that Night. got lucky, and and they Violent cut Night, it true. down to yeah, PG yeah. thirteen, so that helped its, uh, yeah. that helped its spot. I'd say Violent Night really... more, and the, yeah. the menu, Violent Night, the menu, and Terrifier think, also. Yeah. Like there, there seems to be a crowd for this. Like <laughs> they're projecting right now. What is what is the more recent projections culture? Do you know for Cocaine Bear? I know they were projecting oh. it in the high end. Oh, it's only getting twelve. Yeah, I know the high end. They yeah, were saying more could, that. Yeah, they're saying it, was gonna, it could do up to thirty six million. I was like, yeah, I could see it uh, doing yeah. forty because Megan did forty. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. I talked to a few people, and I should have probably looked into it some more. But I think Megan could have made more money had it not been for Avatar taking up all the big screens and not on the that, cabin. They and pulled the Megan. Cabin. They pulled Megan and started putting on streaming as well. Do you remember right. that? Yeah, that, I mean, that it's still would also play a factor. Yeah, I mean, you had the same factor with uh, Puss in Boots, too. But mm. with Cocaine Bear, they did do the Super Bowl ad. So now a lot of people are aware of this movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you know so. what they did? They pushed it up. They pushed it up to uh, they did push it up to 36 million. You're right, Tom. Yeah, and I was going to say the last um, projections were at 36. Yeah. Yeah. And now Knock on the Cabin is available for streaming as of today for 19 to 24 bucks a pop. I know um, that didn't do expensive. as well as they were hoping, but. 
Mm-hmm. It, no, that's it, average. The, the, the article just came out that it's hidden sooner uh, than expected. That's a, that's a shame because Knock at the Cabin is a decent film. I like Knock at the Cabin. That's a really amazing, film. but it's a decent film. Well, I don't think here, people want that kind of movie from, right now. But yeah, here's the thing for me: like I thought it was okay, but when I saw it again with uh with Romy, like we were like, wow, that's some good stuff. Oh, uh, from a like, from a secondary perspective, or a, just yeah, seen well, it once or right. And um, I still feel like I, I don't uh, know. It, it was very entertaining. I still feel like the first, yeah, I still feel like the first few scenes look like they were shot by someone completely different, weird angles and stuff, just a bit odd. But anyway, we digress a little bit. But yeah, so I reckon well, we're talking um, about we're talking about adult <laughs> films, right, or our films. But you, you know, so Cocaine hmm. Bear, you know, how's it gonna do? I like, well, I, re- I yeah, oh yeah, how is it gonna do? I reckon I could definitely see it doing forty. Uh, I forty. Uh, I reckon it might surprise people around the globe as well. I think like, because Ant-Man did pretty well in the UK, but I think, I think Cocaine Bear could do really well in the UK. Like I'm being shown a lot of adverts for Cocaine Bear. And obviously that's ge- geographical location as well as age and stuff. Right. So I, I reckon, I, re- I do think Cocaine Bear will do really well in the UK as well. Like I, I think, it, I think that will surprise people. I, I don't think they quite realize what they had on their hands. And I think the marketing for it has been perfect. I don't, yeah. I don't think I don't think that there's another way you could do the marketing, especially now. I've seen them starting to quote like Twitter users and be like, oh, "It's your favorite film you haven't even seen." You like all this kind of stuff. I'm like, yeah. "That's great." Like, I, I I don't think of anything. I, I couldn't think of anything better that they they could do so, marketing wise. As of I aside guess from actually the... getting a, a bear high on cocaine, because that would be funny, yeah. but, and obviously awful. Don't do that. Yeah, go ahead, Paul. <laughs> No, no, I'm just looking at the daily, the dailies from yesterday. Yeah. Uh, mm. You know, Knock of the Cabin still number six, made thirty one over thirty one million wow. against wow. its twenty million, against its twenty million budget. That's just and that's just domestic. Domestic, and mm. you figure they'll be it'll make it'll make a few more bucks. Mm. I mean, that's not great, but it's not bad. Um, well, I, mean, it's, it's, uh, uh, I heard they were too happy with it. Yeah. Well, M Night signed a new deal with someone, so I mean, his stardom's mm. coming back up. And uh, Puss in Boots jumped over Avatar yesterday for 1.7 oh. over Avatar 1.4. It looks like Avatar is start, starting to fade fast. But this is this is the game. thing. Like the moment other films come out, it was gonna. Like of course it was gonna. And this is why people were stupid not to open up a film against it. Not like immediately against it, but in the midst of it being out a bit sooner because you didn't well, need mm-hmm. to give it such a wide berth. People Megan tried, it. but that was what I was told was part of the problem was like, mm-hmm. um, especially the smaller theaters. I mean, I don't know how AMC and some of the other ones may have been able to deal with it, but they were told uh, they, had right. to keep, they had to keep Avatar in the bigger <laughs> mm-hmm. screens for the first 30 days. Yeah, and that's yeah, what I was being right. told was that Megan was selling out in the smaller screens, but yet they had, you know, their big screen yeah. showing uh, Avatar and they weren't even nearly half full most of the time. And it kind of pissed them off because they could have sold more Megan tickets. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Well, and again, I mean, I look, the, the we're all projecting these enormous returns for Cocaine Bear. Mm. The industry is not there. They still think they, they're still, they still want to put it at 12 million in their opening weekend. That's where I was kind of tempering our expectations. Cause this is an yeah. R rated film. Yeah. It, it is yeah, a bit well, of a niche kind of horror film, but they're was, not niche promoting it now. No, no. They're I know so. they're not. I know. And I hope it, it has, like, I you would have been right a month ago. I would have been like, yeah, the ability. Well, I just yeah. don't want us to be like all disappointed if the damn thing only makes $20 million this weekend. Right? I mean, I'll, I'll be disappointed anyway, but I'm still going to go in with gusto <laughs> and optimism, but I will be disappointed if it only makes 20 million. I will absolutely be disappointed. It should, it should definitely make more than that. It's a film that from all intents and purposes, having not seen it from, going off of Megan. Yeah. Looks like it definitely should earn more than that from that. That's I think so. so. This the other budget... problem it'll have is a lot of people like kids will be paying to go see Ant Man while sneaking into Cocaine Bear. That's the other problem you'll have. I don't. I, yeah, no, I don't, I don't that's not as rife as you think, man. It is more than you think. I, you know what? Let's let's hold <laughs> off on that one until we get the numbers. But yeah. um, again, I'm telling you, like f- families were like all oh, busting up at this at this trailer. So we <laughs> go all go together. Yeah. Um, yeah. The. Budget on Cocaine Bear, they're saying thirty-five to thirty-nine million. Yep. 
I can believe that. Uh, the majority that's uh, shot on location, majority that's just and, the visual effects for Koki. And, yeah. and lots, of, lots of practical stuff, yeah. 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 yeah.